Greetings and welcome to a special Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team video. Today I'm going to be going over essential phrases you need to know and learn for your games of Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team and Warhammer in general. But before we get into things, please remember to like and subscribe as well as comment well, what you thought of this video and how useful it was to you. I want to know how it's going to impact and improve your games of Warhammer. But let's get on with the video. So people often ask me, John, how can you help me to improve and become a top tier Warhammer player? And I've thought about this a lot. And, you know, I've been playing for a few years and I, I've collated a few of the best things you need to have in your arsenal to improve yourself as a player. Because if you follow the advice I present today, you will also end up as an award-winning player who was a playtester at one point as well. So following this is the best knowledge you'll ever need. And the great thing about it, it'll, it's applicable to all games of Warhammer, mainly Kill Team, but you can adapt these to all your other games you play. So feel free to share it to your friends as well. But, you know, I've been, I've been consulting other tournament top tier players and uh, I think I refined a good list. Now, the, the key to being a competitive player and a successful competitive player is having the right number of excuses for when you lose. Because, you know, everyone just like, oh, it was a game. But, you know, if you're a top tier player, you know what excuse to give out. That doesn't sound like you're complaining, but makes your opponent go, damn. Yeah, it was that. So that's what I'm going to go about today and make sure you have these tools to make yourself a top tier player as well. So let's get into it. So this is kind of the most common one used and I've seen it used incorrectly, but it's, my dice were bad. So as I said, it's a, it's a common phrase to use when you've lost a game. Uh, it's flexible because it has a lot of uses. You can either say my dice were bad the whole game or my dice were bad in key scenarios or key points of the game. It's relatable, especially if your opponent has had bad dice rolls as well. Or, you know, when they've won, they can go, oh yeah, this is right, you know, I've lost to someone like you lost to me, where their rolls were just better than mine. It's hard to contest when losing because it really takes a confident opponent to go to you. No, your dice weren't bad. They were actually on average. So that's another thing to maintain. But the key thing you need to remember when you say my dice were bad after a game is that you have to watch out if your game was being streamed or recorded. Because especially if they had friends watching or people like commentating over the game, they may go over, actually, you only had one instance of bad dice rolls. It was just at a very important part. So that's the only thing you need to keep out in your mind for when you say my dice were bad, but generally it's a very strong phrase and I'd probably give it a four out of five. It's it's the reason it's probably the most commonly used phrase and why everyone uses it really. So just remember these key points. Next we have the terrain was bad. So you can claim your losses were based on bad terrain. Once again, it's flexible because you can say the entire terrain used at the tournament was terrible or that it's just for this specific board you're playing on. You could argue it's too blocky or there's not many not, not many vantage points or too many. It's once again relatable because your opponent may also go, yeah, you know, right, the terrain wasn't great for this board or yeah, the, the, the tournament doesn't have a great selection of terrain. It's mainly blocky or it's 240k. Uh, but it does require confidence because once again, if you're against an experienced an, oppo an experienced opponent who is able to challenge you or point out other boards that people are playing on that are fine, this can fall apart. So I would usually rate this as a three or two out of five. It rates more the more consistently bad a tournament or where your plane is terrain is bad. So it's something to keep in mind. I've, I've seen a lot of people using this. It's just, it's one of the more newer phrases, but it's definitely something to have in your repertoire for when you lose a game of Warhammer. Now, this is something that's risen to popularity in recent times. It's bad matchup. You had it before uh, in older iterations of Warhammer, but now it's, it's very easy to prove because you can literally just pu pull up a tier list. You know, any of the tier lists, mine, all the other content creators, you can say like, oh, I lost because, you know, I was using Space Marines or Pathfinders. I was always going to lose. And it's easy to get support because especially in the matchup I said, 
you know, you'll get people going around. You can get your friends, people around just going, yeah, yeah, but look, it's, how, how was he going to win that? Like, look, he was just using uh, Space Marines. You're using uh, Pathfinders, but you can even expand even more going like, I was using the Compendium team. You're using a Bespoke team or I'm using, you're using the newer team and I'm using an older team. So the newer one is automatically better. It's very easy to prove for yourself the only problem is if you do it in a mirror or you're using the stronger team so that's what you have to remember and it's easy to antagonize say say you were like a bitter loss you can just go that that the, your opponent may have outplayed you done all these amazing strategies and played played the mission perfectly and you just go bad matchup uh, no pathfinder player will or any s tier player will, will will counter you with that they will just they have to accept that and move on. Otherwise, they are not going to get a best sporting vote. So even if they may not get it, they don't want to eliminate that chance. So this is why bad matchup is incredibly strong. It's a, it's a five out of five excuse. As I said, the only thing you need to remember is if you're playing an S tier warband yourself or a higher a higher tiered kill team, um, be careful. Be careful. Or because otherwise you have to hope that they're not using the Internet. So that's that's all I have to say about bad matchup. I was using an old FAQ. Now, this is a fringe use and not actually used quite commonly. So that's why I've put it as a wild card. It's putting yourself on blast because you're basically going, I wasn't keeping up to date with the rules. But it is hard to contest because your opponent is not exactly going to go through your phone or contest your player knowledge going, well, you should have been up to date with all the recent FAQs. But the problem with this, it only works at specific points and in specific parts of the game. If you're on like the final and you, you, you play this, you have to be very brave. It's, it's greater early on in a tournament or a casual game, because as I said, no one's really going to challenge you on that. They can say they may expect you to know, but it's very easy to prove yourself. The only thing, as I said, it makes you look incompetent, but that's why it's a good wildcard excuse because people don't expect it. So I'd put it like a two or three out of five, but it, it's it, it's worth more the least you the less times you use it. So so maybe break this out once every six months, you know, something like that. Don't use it often, but it's a great card to have in your arsenal. Now this is the best phrase you can ever use when you lose. I don't even play this game. It is uncounterable. No one can can count on this when you say that. And the perfect thing is you can use it when winning or losing. Ideally, you're using this when you lose because you go, oh, you beat me. I don't even play this game. Or you can even, it's adaptable as well because you can say, ah, oh, I actually haven't played in three months or however long. Uh, but it, it's better to go, I don't even play this game because how is your opponent going to counter that? Especially when they've won. Because you can go like, oh, I actually don't play Kill Team. I've just played this because I mainly play Warhammer 40,000. I'm only here because of my friends. Uh, I, I play Age of Sigmar more. I just wanted to see what skirmish gaming was like. So strong. You can't contest this, yeah? The only problem is if you're a content creator, they probably can. Unless you've done the smart thing of just before you go to a tournament, you, you decide to upload nothing for like two to three months. But it, it's a five out of five, five phrase. I'd probably say it's a six out of five. It is the toppest tier list of excuses and one you should always keep in your arsenal. And it's great when you're playing other game systems. But it's good for kill team, you know. But if you're trying to relate it, say you haven't played in a while. But mainly, if you don't, if you go, I don't even play this game. No way to counter that. I, from my experience, it's it's an uncounterable response. Very very difficult for your opponent to interject unless they just want to fight. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the top tier excuses you need to learn when you lose. It will make you one of the best Warhammer players in the world. And don't just take my word on it. I've done a lot of research and it's based on history. These these are phrases used commonly in all forms of Warhammer, but I've adapted them a little bit for Warhammer Kill Team. But as I said, you can branch these into other Warhammer games. And if you're really brave, you can branch them into other game systems as well that aren't run by Games Workshop. Uh, but before I go, just like to thank uh, Juna because he inspired me for this video. I, I have a big fighting game background and it's basically tweaking the responses you would say when you would lose a fighting game to when you lose a game of Warhammer. And as I can say from losing a lot of Street Fighter, these these excuses are the best. So 
every top tier player has them loaded up and you need to be prepared you know because if you do want to counter them it's good knowing what phrases will be brought up but that's pretty much it for me to today normally i put this stuff as an article but you know i'm a youtube guy i'm a youtube guy now <laughs> but yeah please remember to like and subscribe as comment i'm eager to see how this will help you improve and play your own games of warhammer 40,000 kill team I, I can't wait to see these used in the public domain and at tournaments and events it's just going to be sublime so remember anytime you think you can't roll a crit that is correct because you should have a lo long list of excuses to prove why rolling a crit can be impossible unless you're me